today I'm going to show you everything I do on my rest day so that tomorrow when it's back to training, I'm hitting as hard as I can and getting the results that I need to punch that out tag in 2024. Let's go. So we're going to start from the house. It's a loop. It's probably a mile or two. Again, the emphasis is to not jack the heart rate up. Uh, zone two to zone three, 110 to 130 beats per minute. See ya. So at 141, I got to slow down a little. Heart rate's 120, slow down. You got about a quarter mile to go. All right, 1751, average heart rate 132. That's good for me to keep it down. Looks like 1.6 miles. Now, we're gonna go get the blood moving and not in a good way. I'll show you guys what I mean next. Dan, how much does this cold plunge cost? It's free 99 guys, but it is, uh, it is gonna cost you a little bit. Uh, but you gotta remember, this is going to ultimately help your body recover and fight off inflammation, which is your worst enemy. And also, man, I got my partner right here filming. He's gonna jump in with me. That's great, because you know, Jeff and I are gonna spend a lot of time, yeah. A lot of time in the mountains, and it's the chips are gonna be down. Uh, we're gonna be mad at each other, we're gonna be mad at the conditions, mad at the animals, mad at other hunters, and we gotta be tough mentally. So we're gonna add a deposit, and then we're gonna withdraw in September. So we're just trying to build up that mental toughness, fight off uh, inflammation, and yeah, we're doing it together. <laughs> well, only six of the 30 ducks are in the water. It must be pretty cold. Let's go find out. <laughs> Not even the ducks are getting in. Well, the pro tip really is to just rip the band-aid off. It don't even don't even hesitate. Just don't get in. Think it. Good job, Jeff. Yeah, you too, bro. Hey, it's January 31st. I don't know the temperature, but we're two hours from Canada. It's cold. It actually feels so good right now. It does feel good. The blood is going to the extremities, but the first 90 seconds is, it's purgatory, man. You leave the car running? <laughs> no, I locked the keys in the car. We got to run home. <laughs> These aren't free. <laughs> Next up after this is we're gonna head into the gym and we're gonna ride the erg bikes for about 20 minutes. Again, zone two, another. And again, this whole video is my recovery protocols because I'm 42. I'm not a spring chicken anymore. I'm certainly not old anymore. I don't feel old, but I don't recover as fast. Off the bike, I'm gonna go through the hips first. These are bands that you can get off any website. They're good for so much other than just assisted pull-ups. So whichever band is on the back leg, that's gonna be the hip flexor that I'm stretching. This band is going to help the head of the femur into the acetabulum, so it's gonna just let me get that soft tissue to open up. I'm also actively contracting this left glute, which will make the front hip relax, called reciprocal inhibition. Google that one. And I'm gonna hold this for probably 30 seconds, maybe a full minute, and then I'm gonna switch sides, and I'm gonna open up that hip. Tight hips is not good. If you sit at a desk all day, you are shortening your hips. We want our hips elongated. We want our glutes strong. This will help do that. All right, so I got this thing as tight as possible. Be careful, you could restrict blood flow and cause nerve damage, that's our disclaimer. And then I'm just going to, so extension's what bothers this when I'm pushing that bow out. So I'm just gonna find that position and I'm gonna hold an extension and put a little weight through it and I'm just gonna put my thumb on the tendon so I'm pushing into it. Foam roller, I still use them. I've been using them forever. I typically I'm tight, I try, I'm hunting for trigger spots, hot spots, adhesions. 
I'll spend about 30 seconds to a minute on a hot spot. I'm on one right now, obviously. If this is not doing the job, I'll take the pain to another level and I'll find right there. And I'm hunting for the trigger spots. The voice changed, that means I'm on it. And I will work that out. This is a poor man's massage therapist and I'm all about that life. I hope you enjoyed our video where we just, we're trying to bring home the idea that there's a lot of responsibility on a recovery day that a lot of people overlook. I think warm-ups and recovery are two of the most abused or overlooked components of a good fitness program. So just, man, just practice and try some of the stuff I suggested today. I think it'll make a world of difference. Right now I'm doing a little collagen peptides for the soft tissue, hydrate recover, branch chain amino acids. I'm a huge fan of the good stuff from Wilderness Athlete. This is a multivitamin, a probiotic, and my fish oil. I just recently got my blood work done and honestly I was so surprised at how good my blood work came back and I know a lot of it has to do not with my nutrition but backfilling my nutrition I eat a ton of vegetables and elk meat it's no secret but I backfill with this we have a code a discount with uh, Wilderness Athlete this is a supplement company not a marketing company uh, elk shape will take 20% off we have a couple stacks on there uh, on their website there's an elk shape stack uh, for September there's a regular elk shape stack for what I take during the off season which is most of the year and then there's even my wife's stack and it's the Mrs. Elk shape stack so throw that discount code in there elk shape your results depend on your body's ability to recover so treat it well recover fast stay strong and we'll catch you on the next one